We spent over a hundred hours testing live TV streaming services to save you over $700 a year. We're going to tell you who we pick. Don't want to miss it. This is FOMO Pop. Pop. It's been a couple weeks since we've been live. Our buddy Peter is going to join us again next week. But today, we spent the last month testing six different live TV streaming services. What's a live TV streaming service? What it is, it's a way to let you finally cut the cord without having to give up all your favorite cable shows. While a lot of people will switch and get rid of an antenna or just go to Netflix or Hulu, what we decided to do is go part of the way there. If you wanted to get rid of Comcast or your satellite subscription, how could you stream TV over your Apple TV or Roku or Fire TV and still get your same favorite cable shows? So what we did is we put these six services to the test. So the six services are DirecTV Now, Fubo TV, Hulu's live TV service, we have Sling TV, YouTube TV, and PlayStation View. They all are under $40 a month, and they have a little bit differences between them. So we decided today we're going to go through the three most important things that you should consider when deciding a live TV streaming service. And then we're going to tell you our pick, the FOMO Pop pick for best live TV streaming service. So number one channel selection. What we did is we didn't decide, a lot of these companies will tell you we have 50 channels or 80 channels, but what we really care about are the top 35 cable channels. So these are the 35 most watched cable channels for people 18 to 49. So they're channels like Bravo and HGTV. Um, and believe it or not, there's a big variability across all these different services. At the very top, you have DirecTV Now, which has 34 of the top 35 cable channels. The only one they're missing on their little, little beginner plan is, is own network. Surprisingly, none of the other services even come close. Second place, PlayStation View, had 25 of the top 35 channels, and then it went down from there. Number two. The number two thing that we looked at was the stability. One of the trade-offs when you get rid of your cable or satellite subscription is you're really at the mercy of your internet connection. But on top of that, these different streaming services had different stability. And what that means is when you're watching, is there going to be buffering when you're watching these services? And so we rated them across the board from good to not so good. So the two best were PlayStation View and Hulu Live TV. And then somewhere in the middle was YouTube TV, DirecTV Now. And then we had a couple streaming issues with Sling TV and Fubo. Um, what happened was there was some buffering when you'd either change the channel or start it. So if you're looking for the best service, the most stable service, you'll have to go with PlayStation View. But to be perfectly honest, outside of Sling and Fubo, we really didn't have that many streaming issues on live TV. And then third, feature set. So all these different services offer different kinds of features. Everything from parental controls to DVRs to TV Everywhere access. What that means is you can actually log into the different channels apps. So you can uh, stream on-demand content from those channels as well. And while five of the six of them had DVRs, the lone exception was DirecTV. DirecTV um, actually will be having a DVR later this year, but currently they don't offer it. Each of those services actually offered different levels of DVR. YouTube TV and PlayStation offered unlimited DVRs. The amount of storage um, was from 28 days on PlayStation View to eight months on YouTube. And then the other services, Hulu Live TV uh, and Fubo, 
um, offered different levels. So about 50 to 100 hours was relatively common. On Sling, you actually had to pay $5 to add it. So in terms of uh, TV Everywhere, the leaders were DirecTV Now and PlayStation View. They actually allowed you to log into over 50 channel services, which was huge because sometimes you want to go back and watch episodes that you might have not recorded or are available um, on, on them, but not necessarily on demand. So now, everything that you've been waiting for. We're going to go through our picks and why we pick these different services. So our top pick, DirecTV Now. DirecTV Now's Live a Little plan costs $35 a month. But with that, as we said at the top, you get 34 of the top 35 channels. You'll get local channels in a lot of major markets. They just announced that they've added CBS and CW, and that will be coming uh, in, com in the coming weeks. And then on top of it, you also will be getting uh, about a 100-hour DVR later this year. But this wouldn't be FOMO pop without a pro tip. And this was one of the biggest selling points for DirecTV Now. If you're an AT&T uh, Unlimited subscriber, so if you're iPhone or Android, you get unlimited data, guess what? You actually get HBO for free and also $25 off a month. So you can actually stream 34 of the top 35 cable channels for only $10 a month, including HBO. HBO on its own, if you subscribe, is $15 a month. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you um, have AT&T Unlimited. But what we actually found is, while the DirecTV Now plan is great for most people, if you're a sports fan, you might want something a little different. So we looked for the best plan for the sports fan, and we landed on PlayStation View's core plan. The core plan is actually one step up from their entry level plan, so it's $45 a month. But with that $45, you get a ton of stuff. So not only will you get locals and you'll get regional sports network, but on top of that, you get the channels from three of the four major pro leagues, so NFL Network, NBA TV, and MLB Network. You'll also get college channels like Big Ten Network and SEC Network and ESPNU. For only $10 more a month, you can actually add the NFL Red Zone channel to it. So it's actually the perfect solution for the sports fan. But we know not everyone wants to actually spend this kind of money. Part of the reason people cut the cord is they want to lower their cable bill. So we actually wanted to find the cheapest option that we actually felt comfortable recommending to you. So Sling TV actually has an entry-level plan called Sling Orange, which is 20 bucks a month, but that's actually not our recommendation. We felt if you upgraded to the $25 a month Sling Blue plan, it's actually the best bang for your buck when you think about it. You get 19 of the top 35 cable channels. You'll get locals from NBC and Fox. And then if you're a sports fan, you can actually put together a budget sports plan. They have something called the Sports Extra Pack, for $10 a month, you can add it to the $25 Sling Blue plan, and you'll get things like NFL Red Zone, NHL Network, NBA TV. So it's a great addition to your Sling Blue plan. So again, top pick, DirecTV Now. Our sports pick, PlayStation View's core plan. Um, and our budget pick, Sling TV. So we've actually had a lot of questions from people about these live TV streaming ser services how locals work, if I'm an NFL fan, what's best for me. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be creating some exclusive content just for you so you know if you have specific picks um, what the best services are. But we've spent a lot of time on this, so I recommend that you go to FOMOPOP.com, F-O-M-O-P-O-P.com, and read our full review. It's actually super interactive, so you can see even more detailed things like comparing the top 35 channels across all the different services, seeing which local channels are available in your market, and seeing even little geeky things like how far behind are these streaming services compared to live TV on your cable subscription, or how fast it is to change the channel so you can do channel surfing. But we're really excited to share with you everything that we learned about live TV streaming services, so we really hope you check it out. And remember, 
Don't forget to sign up for the FOMO Pop 5. We bring you the best five deals every week. We've actually had some amazing deals the last couple weeks. Two weeks ago, we actually showed you ways where you could get $10 off at Starbucks and buy one, get one free at Chipotle. Um, so we have been bringing you the best deals we find online. So make sure you subscribe, FOMOPOP.com forward slash five. Well, that's it for this week on FOMO Pop. We're excited to be back and bring you the best products that we found find online. So for Jason, Peter's not here, so it's just me. This is FOMO Pop. We'll see you next week.